بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس دس از بشرا سلمان اینڈ شابانو منصور ٹوڈے وی ار ہیئر ود اے ویری انٹرسٹنگ ٹاپک ایٹ از ایموشنل انٹیلیجنس اینڈ ہاؤ قران اینڈ سننا ٹیچنگ ہیلپ اس ڈویلپنگ ایموشنل انٹیلیجنس سو ائی ول وی ول سٹارٹ وتھ دی انٹروڈکشن اینڈ دین وی ڈو وی ول ڈو ڈیپ ڈائیو سسٹر شابانو yeah uh, here in, in this topic first of all uh, assalam alaikum and uh, this topic will tell us how to struggle within our own self to uh, for greater good for uh, our personal success and our uh, the success which belongs hereafter uh, we will go through quran sunna and um, very other many aspects of this topic uh let's start let's start um emotional intelligence it's a, it's the introduction or definition of emotional intelligence uh, on the slide emotional intelligence otherwise known as emotional quotient or eq is the ability to understand use and manage your own emotions in positive way to relieve stress communicate effectively empathize with others overcome challenges and diffuse the conflict on conflict so these are various uh, purposes of uh, emotional intelligence like how it is useful and useful to develop and how uh, what it does in our lives quickly moving to the next part which is characteristics of emotional intelligence uh, self awareness self regulation motivation empathy and social skills so just like regular intelligence term like uh emotional intelligence is having wisdom or having insight on your emotions and on others emotions is emotional intelligence so sister uh, shabano do you think a person who is very intelligent in the real life can it is it is mandatory that person is also emotional intelligence or is it is separate than the regular intelligence yeah it is uh evident from um, data which we have collected and and many uh, places it is collected that intelligent is a part of the emotional intelligence but emotional intelligence is a collective phenomena it uh, it covers all the aspect of uh, handling uh, the whole environment through you maintaining uh, one's own peace with the success uh, term and uh, and we will further discuss with other slides as well i agree yeah we have a lot uh, to discuss today amazing facts and figures like like this slide is telling us who invented this terminology maybe it was invented earlier but these are the people who defined it properly they are uh, mir uh, selovi and uh, caroso al ability Uh, so ability models is actually this is uh, these are the three people who dis, uh, gave this ability model it is sort of uh, characteristics of emotional intelligence like what it contains in it uh, or what steps are involved first is perceive emotions use emotion to facilitate thought understand emotions and manage emotions um so sister shavana would you like to add something or i should move to the next slide yeah i i just wanted to uh, give a quick look that like science is an invention it is it is a, a discovery um uh, and law of gravitational force all the laws were already there but later on scientists discovered those prevailing systems or laws which was which were already there same goes with this spiritual aspect of dealing the 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 life inside out it was already there through one book all the all the divine books it was the part and uh, part and parcel of the lives of all the prophets emotional intelligence was not is not new for us being muslim we have to be very confident we should be proud of our uh, religion that all the prophets were having this um, uh, in element of uh, emotional intelligence right. were, the divine knowledge is uh, is also uh, covering the emotional intelligence 
so these are just, just the uh, names which who who gave another idea or another uh, name to these ideas but we were already into this studying now in this uh, whole session we will learn how we can correlate our st studies from quran and sunna with the present uh, moment uh, education about um, emotional intelligence so it's all about this yeah right uh, i just want to make one correction here um i was uh, i was reading this uh padding and it says e e i which stands for emotional intelligence and first three are the names of the social um psychologists so i'll move to the next slides components of emotional intelligence uh as we uh discussed it it is comprised of self awareness observing yourself and recognizing feeling as it happens self management handling feelings so that they are appropriate realizing that is that what realizing what is behind a feeling finding ways to handle fears and anxieties anger and sadness empathy sensitivity to others feelings and concerns and taking their perspective appreciating differences in how people feel about things social awareness and relationship management managing emotions in others social competence and social skills so basically what i look here is two factors are related to your own self like self awareness self management and two factors are related to others which is empathy and social uh, awareness and slides slide has already explained the definition of all four areas uh, so the internal process and the outer process at the same time and the same time. for the for the students i just wanted them to remind and recall the stories of prophet yusuf alayhi salam the way he was very much self aware of himself where he was standing whether it was a well whether it was um anywhere he was so all the right. prophets were having the same criteria they were implementing the same criteria so now through these slides we will go where we can implement and how can use these term knowledge terminology uh, according to our own frame of reference yeah right right amazing right. amazing points i agree um okay few important facts it is skill and hands can be acquired and taught the last decade witnessed a widespread use and recognition of emotional intelligence in academic institutions workplace journal articles and media emotional intelligence has received much attention as a factor that is potentially useful in education and as a result educators implemented emotional intelligence program to create a more positive engaging learning environment the focal point is self awareness that generates this quality okay um can should i continue the, uh, can you please explain the first uh, point that it is a skill not uh, it and hence it we can acquire exactly it. so we are born with um, uh, with our inherited uh, uh brain capacity which is called uh, intelligence which is instinctively our part and that help us um, in acquiring knowledge in various areas right so emotional intelligence is not something uh, totally um which is you know inherited or you know instinctively with us it is to some extent like allah taala has made us human being and we don't we know that how to behave in certain situations like the fears are natural or saving oneself is natural then being happy is natural then um having sorrow or grief is natural but there are certain things which are not natural you have to acquire like managing all these emotions which are natural which are naturally with us Ab ability to manage these emotions and use them at the right place at, in the right way in simple words is emotional intelligence like if if you know how to speak it does not mean that you you go on and start speaking at any place it means you are not an emotionally intelligent person you should know the place where to where to stop yourself and where where to start speaking where to express yourself where where to not express yourself similar way sometimes it's important to stand for something and sometimes it's important to you know uh, step back in certain situations to resolve the conflict but at at some point which i think are very rare you have to take the stand 
Otherwise, you are also among zolimis. You are also among people who are uh, who are letting the people do what they want to do. But that is also should be dealt with hikma. You are standing now. There are two points. If once you have to decide whether you are standing or you are not standing, that is related to emotional intelligence. Once you decide that you are standing, how you are standing, what is your way of expression? That is that is again you would acquire it through emotional intelligence. All these things they cannot be inherited. You have to inherit it in the sense not from your parents. Like they cannot be instinct. We cannot be instinctively part of your. personality they your environment teaches you your teachers your parents uh, it uh, like it is said it takes whole village to build a child just like that it takes whole environment to build your emotional intelligence and you yourself are more responsible you should be more aware of your emotion and should be able to dictate them so that's what i wanted to say you cannot that. blame anyone that i am not no. emotionally intelligent Uh, I'm not emotional intelligent because of all these circumstances. No, you can do it. You so can do it. You, you so emotional. I a uh, very good point, uh, Sister Shabano. The so emotional intelligence is actually uh, is a positive outcome. Out it can be a positive outcome out of a negative environment as well. Yeah. You yeah. can see certain people, and you can say, "I cannot be like them. I should not be like them." you cannot say that oh i am like that because my company is like that my company is bad i that's why it turned out uh, yeah. bad you could have said that okay i i should not be like them so this is a profound example of emotional intelligence an emotional intelligent person will recognize that what he or she wants to be and we can have the examples of all the prophets how they were standing out on in the whole that uh, exactly exactly that, so this is the right example that this is the point we want to uh, in, uh, inculcate that it is we who can uh, build in, in uh, emotional intelligence factor in ourselves right right so very important point sister shabano i would just quickly give an example of prophet ibrahim i think he was most emotional i i don't want to compare but i like i found him very emo, uh, yeah. emotional intelligent person like he, uh, he 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 used to ponder on science of nature also he was facing opposition of his own father and father. his own tribe and then yeah. he was able to stand and he was he was able to talk with them logically he was cool and calm and he was not fighting with them so he is the profound example of emotional intelligent person we should read um, uh, seerah of uh, prophet ibrahim okay. alayhi salam as well yeah Okay, very, moving to the next slide, uh, Sister Shabana, would you like to read? Yeah, uh, very important slide, and that it says that unit of the feeling is a thought. Like feeling starts with the process of a thought. A trivial thought leads to an emotion, which leads to a word or an action causing a specific incident. Like it is a thought, which gives uh, acceleration to an emotion that leads to a word, maybe. and then an action and then on a on an outer uh, outcome it becomes an incident positive or negative so the basic thing is thought so thought. we have to focus on a thought the the third point is being aware of one's own every moment thoughts every moment thoughts monitoring it sorting it out like you are checking it what you are thinking sorting it out you are uh segregating what is positive what is negative what is relevant what is not relevant relevant and then channelizing it channelizing means you first you have uh, uh you have sorted it out what what is what what are the positive and relevant thoughts now you have a bunch of thoughts which are positive and relative relevant and now you have to within the frame of time uh, uh you have to channelize it and accepting the reality that you have 30 minutes for this class and you have to go uh, hurry, uh, you, you have to go in a in a pace with result oriented approach that you have should have a purpose a purpose as well served purpose so this slide is giving me an, a bird eye view how an emotional intelligent person will uh, will travel inside like right. he will think about his himself what he's thinking the pattern of his thought then he will go for a, a emotion uh, emotional and he will he, he will be motivated 
and he will be having a purpose and then he will check on uh, by introspection contemplating and he will be very much vigilant and he will be an awakened mind right yeah. right i want to quickly give an example of this slide practical example of this slide um you said thought is the basic unit it it controls everything coming next right so for example if a person has a difficult family member at home it can be anyone right and you Even cannot it can be a friend best friend childhood Some friend friends. it can be a family member the person who who you cannot avoid right so uh you sh so uh, if i take first bullet you should not generalize always that always this person does bad to me now this is a generalized thought and you will never get a good impression and you will not never uh, get to appreciate that person's goodness right so you need to control your thoughts and you need to look goodness in that person because you have to spend time with with that person so it's better you should tell yourself it's better that if i keep on looking goodness in that person and also day to day communication with them be aware of your own thoughts and be aware vigilant maybe the problem exists in me maybe it's not the other person right so this is just an example and it can it, it can imply on all other situations let uh, that you you should um, make yourself accountable as well do the introspection and ask yourself that what why i'm feeling what i'm feeling if i'm feeling anger if i'm feeling sorrow is it really anger or sorrow is it jealousy is it uh, is, is this anger really jealousy or is it something else so we uh, it's not always the other person sometimes it's you also and that's that's the re that realization comes um, because of emotional intelligence yeah amazing okay um i would read next slide islamic concepts of emotional intelligence islamic principles have much to offer to use and development uh, to use in development of the emotional intelligence the quran there are references to empathy and self control and and march forth this is a verse uh, from chapter 3 and our verses are 133 and 134 and march forth in the way to forgiveness from your lord and for paradise as wide are the, the heavens prepared for al muttaqun those who spend freely whether in prosperity and in adversity who uh, repress angers and who pardon men verily allah loves al al muhsini the good doers islamic philosophical framework develops technique that improves emotional intelligence skills to create more positive engaging learning environment on general and specific works of life resulting peace in both worlds so quran is teaching us the empathy which we uh, mentioned in the start right and and this is like very profound verse um, two verses that um, they are teaching us everything which comes under emotional intelligence right sister shabano yeah exactly exactly very well alhamdulillah okay. we have this book alhamdulillah alhamdulillah yeah, exactly. so basically the whole concept of this uh, lecture is that we don't we have a guidance the quran is 360 yeah. uh, 3 it's covering 360 uh, view or angle. angle of our life in including emotional intelligence it is teaching us emotional intelligence as well we don't need any workbook or worksheet or cheat sheet the quran is our cheat sheet for the for learning of emotional intelligence and well. the second reason busha uh, sister busha I, i want to mention that our students and we all should be very much confident that the the ideas which we which we, which are being presented now we have been uh, given already in quran so we are uh, reading both so that we should we should be able to to uh, to discover and go for 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 victory in both uh, situations like if we are going for the Uh, uh, uh this worldly aspect of emotional intelligence and here we come towards sunna it is said that basirat wala moment right, right. basirat right. wala and this is right. called basirat yeah sahib right. basirat so we are so much blessed so we are just connecting those those dots which which basically started with um, in the divine book and now we are moving towards to a new world order and it is that is 
emotional intelligence i would love to tell these are the subjects which are, which are highly in demand and they are being taught everywhere small courses and big courses and we are lucky to study it together to learn together so uh, should i read yeah yeah sure go ahead evidence from sunna the sunna has ample resources that support emotional intelligence skills for example empathy can be seen in statement by the prophet muhammad peace be upon which states that none of you truly believes until he wishes for his brother muslim call each other brother sister what he wishes for himself i'll again read none of you truly believes until he wishes for his brother what he wishes for himself and in self control it's like whatever i like for myself i like the same uh, for the other muslim not only muslim for every human being by the way and and this is criteria of believer with the reference of this idea that a muslim will not judge other person and he will be uh, doing good deeds on unilateral basis not that he will uh, he will trade his uh, good deeds there is no system of trade in this world we have a trade system with allah subhana taala in in the form of janna so it is about that we we have to be peaceful with for the way we are peaceful for ourselves we have to be peaceful for uh, we have to demand for peacefulness for from the other world other one as well and self control and self management the prophet said powerful is not he who knocks the other down indeed powerful is he who controls himself in a fit of anger and there is a beautiful beautiful uh, hadith and there is another saying of prophet uh, sorry uh, khalif hazrat umar and he said that the sweetest sip is a sip of anger you know yeah. because that is the biggest opportunity of availing allah's blessing for sacrificing my own ego you know subhanallah so it's so lovely when i correlate when i was studying for this uh, session i was so happy and i was so feeling enriched that we have the same with more richness and i was cherishing that this this how beautiful religion we have alhamdulillah 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 Alhamdulilla. so yeah it's amazing that all those four areas which which we started uh, with uh, our our slides typical model like, yeah they are all ad uh, covered by teachings of quran and sunna so these uh, it's like people uh, it's like world has discovered this emo emotional intelligence areas later on which uh, allah and um, uh, is uh, prophet prophets have uh, already discovered 1000 uh, 1000 years ago right so that's really beautiful moving to the next slides why we need to acquire emotional intelligence um it, these are some of the things which we have already talked about i will just quickly read bullet points helps to attain our specified personal and collective targets improves the strength of the character um utilizes the energies in the best possible way in the best way possible emotional intelligence helps you build stronger relationships succeed at school and work and achieve your career and personal goals it can also help you to connect with your feelings turn intention into action and make informed decisions about what matters you most to you this is really good uh the last part is really good it's it summarizes everything make informed decision about what matter most to you as a student or if you are working somewhere what is the goal i mean you can ask yourself like why they are teaching us emotional intelligence why it is so important this is why it is so important that you become a successful human being you cannot be successful uh human being or a uh, or a, a person in a specific career path unless you are emotionally intelligent just wanted to add if you are high grader your your gps are gpas are fine and you are topper but still you don't uh, you lack in this area you will not be a six, uh, successful person yeah. you not be on much more not in this dunya not in in the world hereafter because this is the basic trait which one has to have it now studies say that there are researches have gone through that and the result of shows showed that the person lacking here cannot be a team player cannot be on the higher rank so this is this right. trait we have to acquire yeah right i was going to say that that you are high high grader but you are not team player you, it's not going to be of any use in your career right so you have to be emotionally that 
okay how to improve my emotional intelligence observe how you react to people like you should have out of body experience you know what is out of body experience like i observe myself as a third person when i talk to my parents when i talk to my siblings when i talk to my colleagues te teachers students like other fellow students how i look like an emotional intelligent person is always observing himself so what he does look at your work environment do a self evaluation examine how you react to stressful situations take responsibility of your own actions examine how your actions will affect others before you take those actions so once we start doing this we will come to realize like 99% of problems are because of our own inputs so and uh, they are gone we will feel that when we start observing ourselves and fixing our behaviors or act accordingly our problems would be the social problems and the personal problem would seem to go away should yeah, i uh, move to next or you want that yeah yeah and and we have to be uh, learn to be observers as a third person whether we are in any situation like some something went wrong uh, we don't have to be uh, uh, you we have to get out of the situation as a victim we have to see the uh, the situation as a third person mm -hmm. so we will go and do a session on how to be a good observer inshallah, inshallah. Uh, because inshallah. very important we these are uh, it, it, it's in my list and we will go for this uh, topic as well how to be a good observer right right we do have a class activity at the end but this is like in general uh, uh, food for thought right you have to think about this uh, but these particular points put in this slide uh, sajesh abano would you like to read please being a muslim how can i set a target or a purpose of life for uh, success in both words what god wants for from me these are the question which i have to ask myself what is my core purpose practical submission to god being a muslim i need to serve the humanity to show a true picture of islam choosing any profession with the belief that i am answerable for all my actions to my lord i have to receive every blessing as a test and have to be mindful and contented my true success is the success of akhira hence i will be ready to sacrifice worldly temporary benefits over the everlasting benefit of the life um, everlasting life so that these is are really profound yeah yeah that is the core purpose right you you have to be successful in this life and hereafter that's why you have to use your emotions and actions wisely yeah okay so we have a class activity which is like um bunch of questions five questions uh and answer you can write down in your books notebooks with the help of your amazing coordinators they can provide you this uh slide or snapshot uh -huh. class activity what example as uh, examples uh, slash aspects of emotional intelligence are supported by islamic values from the quran and the sunnah what teachings of quran and sunnah support empathy what teachings of the quran and the sunnah support self awareness what teachings of quran and sunnah support self management where do you rank yourself as emotional intelligent personality there is some typos i will hand over this slide to you um uh, with the these typos corrected so i think that's all for now yeah thank you so much mr shabano and we will come with another amazing topic jazakallah khair jazakallah khair assalam alaikum wa rahmatullah